Get out of the way, worms. Yeah! So, Diablo 4 is changing. And they're also going to be updating the treasure goblins. Oh! -ho! But yeah, right now, Season 1 is still very much underway. And it has been discovered for sure that the Necro is by far one of the most enjoyable classes of Season 1. Because the Malignant Hearts are that good. Oh, he's frozen. Oh my god, that was freaking awesome. Nice. But I have been... I've always enjoyed the Necro. You know, there was a lot of complaints that he's just so slow. And I myself, I really like taking my time with Diablo 4. I don't like rushing through the content. I just like being all chill and enjoying it. Necro has been one of my favorites. Barbarian Necro so far for me are just like my go-tos. Let me know if that's the case for you. But if you are wondering what class you should rotate onto next, definitely try the Necro if you have not. Or if you've neglected the Necro during Season 1, highly recommend that you rotate onto the Necro immediately right now. You won't regret it. But let's get on our horse because we have just begun our journey. We're already at level 10. I love how fast the leveling is for alts, I will say. That's one thing I have to say that is cool. Is that it doesn't feel like as much as a slog as I thought it would. At least to me. Maybe it's different for you. But yeah, back on to the fact that Diablo 4 is changing. There's going to be a lot of cool updates happening to, guess what? Nightmare Dungeons. So that's kind of cool. But let's, I'll talk about that in just a moment. But we have got to craft a, what is it? Hold on. Craft a Brutal Malignant Invoker. Okay, let's do it. It has been crafted. And then we go on our mission. See you later. Come on, horsey. But yeah, Nightmare Dungeons are going to be getting a very valuable update because they are going to be adjusting um, essentially cheap deaths whereas those one-shot deaths that are just so annoying have got to pick that up. Oh, I see how it is. Let's do this. You messed with the wrong necro today, boy. I'm going to collect all this. I'm going to heal you guys up. Don't you worry about it. Everything's going to be okay. But one of my favorite parts about the Necro is the fact that you get your own minion army. I do hope they further buff that down the road. I still think that needs to have some cool buffs. Buff the hell out of the Necro. Keep going with it. But uh, aesthetically, Necro for me is one of the coolest looking classes. He has some of the coolest armor. Um, by far, in my opinion, at least. And now I have a skill that I need to spend. Woo! We slide on down, but we're going to go oh, this way. Onward to our destination. Let's do it. We're going to hop in here. Let's go in. Into the malignant tunnels we go. Now, one thing about Season 1 I will say that I'm still a little bit somewhat disappointed about is the fact that there's only six malignant tunnels. And they're like supposedly all new environments. I feel like they're just uh, existing caves that have been reworked. I think they should have done it differently. Offered us, yes, six malignant tunnels, but also made nightmare dungeons drastically different during the season or something. Strongholds needed the presence of the malignant a lot more, at least in my opinion. I honestly cannot wait to see what happens here with Diablo 4 in the next couple of years. Like, I'm in it for the long haul. I have to say, despite all the issues, all the problems, Oh, 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 I see how it is. Got a trap here. Oh, God. Let's leave behind some corpses for him, shall we? Explode and die. How about I turn into an invincible blood mist? Okay, we got him vulnerable. I'm still very much reliant on vulnerable. Despite them, like, nerfing it, it's still pretty good, you know? I still like using it. I don't know. And they want to still do some stuff with it. There's a... I, I don't know if you guys have heard of the fact that some of the damage... is like a multiplier and then the other portion of the damage is considered uh, additive. Well, it seems like... I think they're going to change up some of these uh, damage functions, I guess you would say. Could be more multipliers than anything else. So, we'll see what they decide on that one. 
but they are going to be visiting that and possibly changing that up in the future. Hopefully for the better. Become the blood mist you were meant to be. Yeah! Okay, I love this class. I have missed playing as Necro so much. But let's see here. Now, one thing I have noticed, which is not good about the Necro, is that the game has a habit of uh, slowing down or stuttering a bit more. And they are doing some improvements to that, but yeah, it's definitely a thing. I've noticed it the more I play as Necro. Let me grab the map. What I miss? Son of a gun, I completely missed a lot of enemies. They're like they're counting on you to get distracted. That's what I thought, boy. My basic skills kind of like meh. I, I don't know if I'm going to rotate to something else, but it does no damage whatsoever. Oh my god, look at where he has spawned in. Horrible position. It's time to die. Oh god. Damn you! Why is taking this so long to die? That is so annoying. Holy fudge, dude. Okay. Yeah, we gotta put some more points in our basic skill. The basic skills currently are very underwhelming. Especially in the end game. They're pointless. And a majority of the community wants that change. It feels like you leave them behind, you know? But crossing my fingers that Blizzard figures out a way to make them more meaningful in the future. We shall see. Die, fools! Oh, that went a complete nuke right there, wasn't it? Slippery snakes. Level 11 has been reached. Can I open this up without getting murdered? I am actually going to dump some points in here. Probably not going to be like the most mind blowing change. Change ever. Kind of regret actually doing that. It seems like there's hardly a change whatsoever. Might revert it. Might dump those points somewhere else. You never know. Right? Die! Ooh, he's bloated good. Oh, the carnage. Artillery shell? Uh, yes, please. Hell uh, yeah. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Where are you? Something this way. Come on, I gotta really take advantage of this artillery shell. Holy crap! Oh, when you turn to the blood mist, it does that? Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I'm backing off. This way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There, yes. Jump into it, you fool. Oh, yeah, I need to raise my army. They're dead. Get in there and fight for me. Good job. Oh, yeah. Activate it. What will emerge? Come on, gather around him. Start hitting him good. You know what? I realized I did that backwards. Oh, shoot. Should have been making him vulnerable first and then exploding the corpse. Uh -huh. Do it! There. And you know, they made the game harder recently. I've been enjoying it, you know? Like, I don't mind it. Because I come from the barbarian world. So for me, it's been, like, pretty somewhat challenging. Not, like, super hard, but definitely more challenging playing as a barbarian than other classes, in my opinion. Let's keep going forward. 
But yeah, so far, really enjoying the Necro. If you have not played Necro, highly recommend going to complete this uh, Malignant Tunnel, of course. Oh, do they follow me around? They do a dance with me, too? But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.